All right, welcome back. You're still watching tonight, and it's time for Data Point for us to reflect on uh, the proposal, one of the key proposals in the Finance Bill of 2024, which is about uh, the motor vehicle tax. Of course, you may have heard of some 2.5% of the value of the motor vehicle that you'll be paying alongside uh, what you'll be paying for your car insurance or motor vehicle insurance. The minimum, according to the bill, is 5,000 shillings, and the maximum should be 100,000 shillings, regardless of the value of that car. And, of course, the commissioner of... Uh, uh, the Kenya Revenue Authority will be the one that will determine uh, the valuation uh, guidelines, which obviously will put into consideration the make at uh, the, um, the year of, of manufacture, among other factors and characteristics of your motor vehicle. Now, at the moment, um, if you're to insure your car on comprehensive basis, it might cost you some 4.5% of insurance premiums based on the insurance firm that you're dealing with and, of course, the client and how you're able to negotiate. For commercial vehicles, it could be between 5 and 5.5% 5 .5 of the value for comprehensive cover. Uh, for digital curbs, it could be up to 6% uh, of the value of the motor vehicle. Uh, but now the proposed tax is 2.5%. So meaning if this is the rate that you've been applying already, then you have to add 2.5%. If it's a digital cab, you've been paying 6% for comprehensive coverage, then you have to add the 25 to make 8.5% of the value as the insurance premiums you'll be paying inclusive of the taxes that will go to the government of Kenya. Now, there are those that choose third-party insurance, and this we're dealing with an estimate as some cars or some motor vehicles, are, the owners are able to pay up to 7,500 shillings for one year. But now the comprehensive on an estimate of what you're using is 4.5% of the value. And we know that um, the minimum that you can pay across many insurance firms under a comprehensive cover is some 40,000 shillings. So if you are to add the 2.5% of the value as taxation, you'll be talking about 2.5% plus 40,000. If you're on third party and you've been, been paying 7,500 shillings, you add 2.5% of the, the value of your car, which could easily be more than the premiums that you're paying for uh, your motor vehicle. Beyond that, Let's do some calculations because a car whose value is 1 million shillings, uh, based on the 4.5% of insurance premiums, then you pay 45,000 shillings for every year. The taxation, 2.5%, will be 25,000. So the next time you renew your motor vehicle, should this, low, uh, should this bill become low, after the, first, after the 30th of June, rather, you have to pay 70,000 shillings uh, to the insurance firm, which will have the responsibility to remit the taxation of 25,000. If your car is valued at 2 million shillings, your insurance will be 90,000 shillings. Your tax to pay would be 40,000. In total, that would be 130,000 shillings that you have to pay uh, through the insurance firm. If your car is valued at 4 million shillings, the insurance, if the rate is 4.5%, you'll pay 180,000 shillings every year. And at the same time, you'll pay 100,000, which is the maximum uh, taxation being proposed by the National Treasury, meaning that in total, you'll pay 280,000 shillings. Now, if your car is more expensive or the value is more than 4 million shillings, the taxation will still remain at 100,000 because that is the cap according to the bill as it is so far. But your insurance, if your insurance is 4.5% of the value, then you currently pay 450,000 shillings. If you, that is on comprehensive basis. If you add the taxation, then it will take you to more than half a million, which is 550. Thousand shillings. So you can see there's a difference here because if your taxation is 100,000 shillings and the value of the car is 10 million shillings, so effectively you're paying taxation for 1%, not 2.5% as the person whose car is worth 1 million shillings. Beyond that, let's talk about something else that um, when you buy a car, maybe importing from outside, well, importing the car, you have several taxes that you have to pay for. That is the import duty as per the value of the car. Of course, this is determined to be the customs value calculated by the Kenya Revenue Authority. There are other taxes involved, like advanced tax. This is for commercial vehicles, and the minimum is 2,400 shillings uh, for commercial uh, vehicles in the country. Um, for road maintenance levy, this is every time you buy a liter of petrol, you pay 18 shillings for that liter. And also for diesel, 18 shillings for every liter. Petroleum taxes, at the moment, we are talking about 76% of the landed cost for every litre of petrol that gets to the port of Mombasa. I'll be explaining that shortly, what exactly it means. You know, talking about the current prices applying, so the landed cost of a litre of petrol at the port of Mombasa was 103 shillings. The taxation based on 
April uh, calculations is 76 shillings, 73 cents. So this is 74% of the landed cost. This is the taxation that any person who buys a litre of petrol has to pay, and the price gets to 192 shillings, 84 cents. For a litre of diesel, the landed cost was 97 shillings, 99 cents. The taxation is 64 shillings, which is 65% of the landed cost, taxation that you're paying for every litre of uh, diesel. And that gets you to 179 shillings, 18 cents, uh, currently that you're paying at the pump. Let's take a look at if you, uh, fuel your car and your tank capacity is 50 litres. What does that mean? That at the moment, if you're buying a litre of petrol at 192 shillings, then the cost of 50 litres will be 9,642. Out of this, 3,836 shillings are taxes, which is close to 40% of the value of that stock. So already you're paying taxes of this much, and you'll also be paying taxes on your motor vehicle. So. At the moment, once you import a car, you pay for the cost of the unit, that is the import price, you pay taxes and duty to the Kenya Revenue Authority, and you pay port charges to the Kenya Port Authority before you can be allowed to take your car to wherever you want upon registration through NTSA, which also has its own share of taxes that you have to pay. So let's do a few calculations. For instance, this is a car whose capacity is 1,000 uh, cubic meters, uh, cubic centimeters rather, the year of manufacture is 2017. If you look at it, you tell the model. Year of manufacture is 2017. The market price at the moment is 1.1 million shillings. When it was imported, the total taxes that were paid to the Kenya Revenue Authority was 216,802 shillings. That is already paid, and it constitutes the value of 1.1 million shillings. Once the motor vehicle tax becomes law, they will be paying 27,500 shillings every single year despite the taxation they'll have paid at the importation stage. But remember, we're basing this calculation on the market value. The commissioner will have the responsibility of determining the valuation procedures. This is a car of 1,500 cc. The year of manufacture is 2016. The market price at the moment is 1.7 million shillings. The total taxes that were paid for this particular import, which is based on real figures, was 497 a thousand shillings, 693 shillings. And the proposed motor vehicle tax would be 42,500 shillings, which is 2.5% of the market value. Again, remember, the value for taxation could be different based on the Kenya Revenue Authority. And this car here, which is um, worth 2,000 cc, the year of manufacture again, 2017, the market price is 3.6 million shillings. The taxation that was paid on this particular unit was 915,000 shillings, 904, that is close to 1 million shillings. And the proposed motor vehicle tax every single year, 90,000 shillings, but there will be depreciation, so it may vary based on the ultimate valuation every single year. One last unit, which is worth 2,800 cc. The year of manufacture is 2017. The market value, 7.5 million shillings. The taxation paid on this particular unit should be more than this. It's uh, more than a million shillings, uh, but um, the proposed taxation would be 100,000 shillings, which, if you do the calculation, comes to about 1.3% uh, because uh, the maximum taxation is 100,000 shillings. So those are just some of the things that you need to be aware of, of what is happening to the motor vehicle tax, which is being proposed and saying that part of the reason is to ensure that um, there will be a window to improve the public service uh, transport in the country. And that is data point for this week.